here's the thing. He wants his motherfucking cake and he wants to shove that shit all through his face hole too. Drum roll please, we have another question from a woman wanting to understand the man in and around her life. And here we go. Mike, I'm loving your post and I have questions. What would you advise in terms of when there is a mismatch between a guy's words and actions or vice versa, right? A mismatch between a guy's words and actions or vice versa, actions and words. What if he makes statements like, I cannot commit or be the man you need to be, but then acts like you are pretty much in a relationship? What if you make statements like that? Here's the thing. He wants his motherfucking cake and he wants to shove that shit all through his face hole too. He wants the benefits of being in a relationship without putting his balls on the line or more accurately, his heart on the line and risking being hurt. So he doesn't get to do that if that's not what you want. So when there is a and you know, it's easy to say, actions speak louder than words. Sometimes. What speaks loudest is when words and actions align. And if they are not aligning, then next part of the statement, I know these are red flags. Bingo, fucking Yahtzee. Red flags, and you know it. That is not integrity. That is a man who is not willing to... act courageously and be in integrity. Now, I can empathize with that man. I don't know his situation, but there's a good chance he is just terrified of what commitment will ask of him. So he doesn't want to explore it. I just want to have my cake and shove it in my face too. I know these are red flags, but is it about me and my boundaries or how do I approach this type of situation? So he's part of the deal here. Your boundaries could come into this. If you're not setting them, if you're setting them and allowing them to be um, pushed over, walked through, non-existent, um, not communicated, not maintained, not upheld. So it could be about your boundaries, but based on the simple data, <laughs> that his words and his actions don't align, then red flag, all right? Now, if you want a relationship with him and he's not willing to say, I wanna be in a relationship with him, with you, then you need to ask yourself some tough questions. Do I want this? Am I willing to accept someone feeding me just little bits here and there and wanting the benefits of a relationship with me without the commitment? I don't know. I can't answer that question for you. My suspicion is no. Um, so we had a bit of a real quick back and forth on this. Uh, and what she said was, when I do try and have this conversation, he gets angry and shuts down. Because you're calling him to his integrity. You're saying, here's an opportunity for you to have some fucking integrity, dude. And he gets angry. Projects it outwards at you. Because that's making, making him or inviting him to face himself. To meet himself. And he doesn't want to. And that doesn't feel nice. So he shuts down. That's a little boy. That's what the little boy does. Okay, and I'm not judging him. That's what the little boy does. The little boy shuts down or he fights, out, fights outwardly. Fuck you and calls you names and stuff, right? I find it hard to create a space where a genuine conversation can take place. Yeah, that's because he's not willing to be part of that, which makes sense because he's saying, I don't want to be a partner. Partners do that stuff. So he's telling you with everything that he does, even though his words might say one thing and his actions might say another, actually, you know what? It all aligns. He is out of alignment and he doesn't want a relationship with you in the way that you clearly need it and want it. So take the hint. Now that's going to hurt. I understand that. It's really easy for me to say, fuck that off. But honestly, is that what you want? If you're clear on what you want and you say, this is what I want, can you provide that? Can you commit to that? And he says no, then you have to be willing to walk away knowing that there's something better for you. All right? And I'm not just speaking to the person asking this question, I'm speaking to anyone that relates to man, woman, doesn't matter. Figure out what you want. And if the people are fluffing around kicking the tires, invite them to step in. And if they don't, goodbye. There is more out there. Okay?